Wix free logo maker tutorial, how to create a logo with Wix. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and an absolutely incredible day. So I bring you back with uh, this video and in this video, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be showing you how you're gonna create a logo with Wix's very own logo maker, all right? Now, mostly people use um, creators like Canva and stuff like that to, you know, make themselves logos. But now I'm going to be going old fashioned. I'm going to be using Wix because if I'm creating my website on Wix, then I'm going to be creating my favicon and website logo on Wix. You know, I'm not going to you know, be unfair with my Wix creators. And trust me, the Wix logo maker is pretty incredible and you will not be disappointed when you use it. So to start things off, what we are going to do is we're going to come over to a new tab. Like obviously make sure that your Wix is signed in on one tab. And on the other tab, we're going to write Wix logo maker. Okay, we're just going to add that and enter that over here. So here we have the free logo maker. I'm going to go ahead and click on it and we're going to get straight in. So here it says logo maker, create a unique brand in minutes. I'm going to click on get my logo. Now, as you can see, I'm already signed in with my account, so I don't really need to get into the basics. Then it gives you two choices. So choose how you want to create your logo. So you can create a logo yourself. You know, tell them about your brand, get a customizable logo in minutes, or you can hire a professional designer off of Fiverr or, you know, a proper Wix professional, if you know what I mean. So you can uh, hire a designer, create a logo by yourself. I'm going to go ahead and create a logo by myself because if I wanted to hire a designer, I would have just gone to Fiverr, you know. So what type of business do you have? Now, obviously, your logo will definitely depend on the type of website you're making. So let's say I have a shoes business. So I'm going to go ahead and write shoe store. And once we do that, I'm going to click on next. Now, once you do that from there, it says, what vibe do you want for your logo? So when it comes to the vibe, you have fonts, icons, colors, everything will reflect your style. So there's uh, you can choose multiple as well, by the way. So let's say I want um, let's go with fresh, dynamic, creative, modern and timeless. OK, let's go with these. And I'm going to click on next. What text do you want in your logo? So you can write things yourself or you can even get AI name suggestions. So if you have a shoe store, as you can see, it gives you good suggestions. So, you know, there's uh, Zephyr, Solil, Zenith, Velox, Vertigo. I'm going to go with Zephyr. That sounds pretty cool. I'm pretty sure that is already a brand, but I'm still going to go with it. It sounds pretty nice. So then you have your taglines or slogans. Again, you can get some uh, AI suggestions. The AI works pretty well. So here it says step into style, walk on air, fashion for your feet, elevate your look. I'm going to go with elevate your look. Seems pretty neat. And I'm going to click on done. Now, once you click on done, you're going to wait for it to load in. And obviously, all the prompts that it took from you, it's going to optimize those. It's going to work with each other. And look at that. It created the logo for us. So once the logo gets created, look at that. It looks pretty nice. It looks pretty cool. So you have Zephyr over here. I like this one a lot. Then obviously this one looks neat as well, but I this, like it. This is definitely a women's logo. Um, my store is, you know, for both men and women. So I'm not exactly going to add this one. So this looks unisex, you know, so I might take this. This looks pretty nice. It looks a bit basic, but it looks okay. This looks yeah, the color scheming and the minimalism, I like that a lot. This looks pretty decent. So you can see that it gives you an endless desire of logos, which is so incredible. And with that logo, it gives you the color scheme that you can follow as well. So this is really great stuff. And uh, I love the work. And as you can clearly see, it gives you a really good general idea. Now, basically, I'd rather go with this or this. Now, this is if I want to go, you know, a little cool, dark, aesthetic, hip font. But if I want to go really classy, I could go with this. So I don't really want to get into the more class. This also looks really cool. And I feel like this would work really well. But I'm going to go with this for now. OK. And once we do this here, we can see Zephyr elevate your look. It has a really nice, you know, custom logo over here. And I'm going to go ahead and click on customize your logo. Now you come into the actual customizer. So basically over here, what you do is you start, you know, changing the styling of your logo if you want to. So first of all, you know, you still have the templates over here, by the way, which you can work on. So you have this templates, you have all these other templates, etc. 
So again, this is pretty nice, looks pretty classy, but I'm going to go with this one. Now, once we're over here, you have the palettes. You can change the color palettes. You can keep custom color palettes if you want to. Uh, you know, it has every type of color palette that you can choose for yourself. Because if you don't like the existing color palette that it uses, you can always go with these. And then you can cross-reference it with the, um, you know, other palettes that you have. So, as you can see, you get all of this. And, you know, it looks pretty nice. It looks pretty cool. So, just choose your type of color palette. You know, whatever matches your liking. And once you like what you're doing, you know, you're pretty much good to go from there. Now... In the case you want to go back to the original, you can just go to templates and do that again. So I'm going to stay with this. Then you have texts. If you want to add text, if you want to change the font of this text, all can be done over here. Simply what you're going to do is you're going to click on the item you want to edit, and that's easily editable. It's pretty incredible, and it's pretty fun to do that. Then, of course, in the text section, uh, you know, there's uh, different fonts that you can mess around with. Then you have symbols. Now, obviously, shoe-related symbols that you can add or remove. So let's say I want to add this right here. And, you know, that looks pretty nice. That looks pretty cool. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and bring this right here just to let people know that, yeah, we're a shoe store. Now, you know, just add your symbols, add your shapes, all you want. You can even add your interior images, change the background color for whatever you want it to. And once you have your outlook, you like it, you're going to click on next. Once you click on next, Obviously, get a matching website with your logo so you can do it for your online store, which is going to look like this. And that looks pretty nice. It looks cool. That looks really cool. Then you have your basic website about anything. And then you have a landing page. So, you know, choose what you want it for. Now, you could go with I just need a logo. So you will only get this logo over here. Or you could go with get my logo plus this website. Okay. So that depends on whatever type of working you want to go with. I'm going to go with I just need a logo right now because I literally just wanted to create a logo. So once you do this, obviously the logo and website charges, logo plus website charges are cheaper. But the just logo charges are obviously a bit, uh, you could say, on the expensive side. So you get the whole point. You get the whole concept of it. That is how we're going to be creating our Wix logo. And once you've created your Wix logo, to add it into your website, simply what you're going to do is you can either come to your website settings or you can even go into your design, your site over here. And in these places, you can simply add in your logos. And that's pretty much about it. So yeah, that's the common gist of how you're going to be creating a free logo with Wix. So yeah, that's all from me. So thank you for watching this video all the way till the end. And I will be seeing all of you in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.